welcome everyone to the X-Files game! Ah, when I was little I used to love this game. Even though I never completed it, I had fun just messing around. If you don't know, it's sort of a first person point and click adventure. Although some might say it's more in line with a visual novel the way it plays out. But I thought I would install it and see if it works, and so far it seems to do so. Despite the resolution, well, the very low resolution that must be had, unfortunately, uh, it seems to be running mostly fine. You might encounter a couple of graphical glitches, but it's very, very good so far. <clears throat> So, well, it's the X-Files. It doesn't really need an introduction now, does it? Or... so... For no apparent reason. Also... I don't know why, but they gave every single option on the menu a different sound effect. Now, let's take a look at the gameplay options, because some of them are quite interesting. There's Artificial Intuition, so, well, what that does is it lets you know if you are near something that can be interacted with, which can be quite good for uh, people who aren't so good at these sort of games, like me. And, well, it has auto-rewind -re if you fail action scenes, I believe. It has been years since I've even thought about installing this, so... Wow. I believe it was also released on the PlayStation 2, I think? But that... Well, it was slightly compressed. Anyway, we're going with standard action scene difficulty. Let's load a new game. A fresh investigation. Now, the first cutscene is a bit choppy, but the rest of them are fine. Why, Agent Wilmore? Why, Agent Cook? You picked a great day to be late. There's some big gun in from DC. I don't know what's up, but it looks serious. Now, here's where we can uh, pick three different ways to respond. Unfortunately, the Emotion icons aren't actually showing, but we can still select them, luckily. If anyone knows how to fix this uh, not actually showing up, uh, well, please let me know. I'm gonna go through. Yeah, he's probably here to make sure we're not stealing paper clips. Hey, don't just walk away without replying. Uh, okay, well, uh, well, we can look around with our pointy finger and if we mouse down here we can look at our inventory right now we have our PDA and our cellular phone that's right <laughs> it's not here okay well let's see over there's the well, oh, there's a fan and there's uh, let's see if we go up here there's a uh, little box for authorized agents only. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Now, one of the things I really like about this game is that so many things can be interacted with. Hey, remember the big electronics bust from the fall of... yeah, the, the fall of 1995. Makes it sound like the year died. And, oh, no, don't, don't want to go and see Shanks just yet. So we're playing as Craig Wilmore, a regular perfectly normal FBI agent. And can I do anything with that? No, I can't. Okay, then. And let's see. Here's our office. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look inside. And would you have... Yeah, you have a lot of pictures around your office, don't you? Uh, a Catholic chapel in a small and poor community. Uh-huh. I can't read that. If we... now... Ah... <laughs> Craig had a wife and a child, but he's divorced now. 
But they're probably doing well enough. A liar is not believed even though he tell the truth. Craig, why do you have that mysterious message? And why do you blink looking icon? Uh, John Amos. <laughs> He'll be one of our contacts. We should remember him. Happy St. Patrick's Day from beautiful Ireland. Wow, well, I, I should have played this months ago. And Shiloh. Uh, is that how it's really pronounced? I can't remember. <laughs> but one thing I do remember about this game... So, yeah, if we... If we look at pictures of Craig's daughter, we hear music. Ah, yes, Craig Joshua Wilmore, Master of Arts. And previously, Bachelor of Arts. Now, if we... Well, can't read that at all. Uh, yeah, if we turn around... Well, uh, phone... Wilmore. Agent Wilmore, I want to see you in my office. You laze. <laughs> For that, we're just... We're just going to hang up since you were too lazy to just walk down the hallway, we're going to look at this cup. Big blue. And another picture of Elizabeth and your wife. And... What's this? Uh, ah yes, Craig's case files. And look closer at most objects. There's nothing really much that we need to see here right now. Just take the book with us. There. Right in our inventory. And we can use our computer. Now, as I was saying, one thing I always remembered about this. I'm not sure why I remembered this of all things. But his password is Shiloh. You've got mail. And that creeps me out. <laughs> so, may as well read our mail. Rugby rules. Wilmore. Hey man, how is this hanging? Great to see you last week. It had been way too long. Glad you enjoyed the game, but I'm sorry you were too much of a wuss to play. And just for the record, it's one tooth and two concussions, not the other way around. And my pearly whites look better than ever, which is more than I can say for you. Guess it's lucky you're not a smoker, eh? Ha! Check you later, Jim. Give blood, play rugby. Interesting mantra. Ah. Oh. I, I, don't, I don't like deleting emails, I want to keep them. Anyway. Pull tabs. Craig, it looks like we finally got a break on the pull tab counterfeiters. We should talk later, but Shanks expects us to have the case wrapped up in a few days. Just thought you'd like a heads up. Mark. That will be Mark Cook, our partner in law. And from Mike Robertson. Uh, Craig, what does the FBI do with its case files once the cases have been resolved? I'd love to get a hold of one or two, but I've got an idea for a book. But it would involve some FBI cases, and I'd like to build it from real life. Let me know if you think you can help out. But no hard feelings if you can't get me anything. Super M. That's nice. And it marks as red, which is very, very nice. I have a photo viewer here, which we can use to uh, get... Well, we can use to view uh, pictures that we take with our camera. But it's not working properly at the moment. I don't know why, but um, any images that I took can't... Well, they weren't actually displayed in here. As before, let me know if you know how to fix that. I think we'll be able to get by without it. And there's media, we can search the media index and we can search uh, names, phones and vehicle license numbers and the intelligence network gateway and we can put out APBs. It's really nice. But we may as well get back to work, eh? And fidelity, bravery, and integrity. 
Let's go see Mark. Hey, partner, how's it going? <laughs> you are writing rather diligently there, aren't you? Okay, see, at least these lips here aren't animated. <laughs> uh, let's take a look around his office. Uh, America's most copied radio. Zenith 4, or Zenith 4. 1937? I guess. Uh, oh, what's this? Oh, the experimenter. Twelve pages of experimental radio. Wow. And how to make th thermit experiments? Is that supposed to be thermite? Hmm. I, I didn't know that uh, Mark was into such radio experiments. It's more of the experimenter. Twelve pages of experimental radio. Yeah, some stuff there. So we can talk to anyone and we get dialogue options. So who's the big gun from DC? I think his name is Skinner. Assistant Director Skinner. Hmm. Hold on. I think that the dialogue volume... I, I did do quite a bit of tweaking, but I think the dialogue volume could go up a notch. What case is you working on? Um, pull tab counterfeiters and uh, the militia group still active in the Northern Cascades. And an assist to the DEA on a meth lab ring, but I'm um, handling things okay. <laughs> oh, good for you. You seem just fine about it. Did, uh... Shank seem upset? Well, he smiled at me. That's never a good sign. <laughs> oh, boy. We're not going to have a fun time meeting Shanks, are we? And here's this. Oh, but there's nothing here right now. <laughs> okay, Shanks. Here we come. Come in. This is Assistant Director Skinner. Agent Walmore, sir. Two of my agents are missing, Fox Muller and Dana Scully. I haven't heard from them in three days. I'm extremely concerned. Now, it doesn't tell you, but what we're supposed to do is look in the folder. Oh, you know who they two are. Those two t hmm. I suppose that's when they were last seen. And we have their information. Including their cell phone numbers. T cell phone. Close look at the photo, though. Doesn't really tell us anything, does it? Are they romantically involved? I don't know. I don't think so. It's a natural first question for Craig. Where were they last seen? In my office in D.C. Right before they left. Hmm. What case were they working on? I'm not quite sure. All I have is this travel requisition which shows that they were going to Everett, Washington. Okay. These two agents were able to function with a high degree of autonomy due to the nature of the cases they pursued. Hmm, the nature of the cases they pursued, eh? Mm-hmm, yeah, the agents will fly on the first available coach class to destination. Apart from Dulles Airport, Washington, arrive at Seattle, Tacoma Airport, Seattle. Yeah, well, yeah. Hmm. Reservations for seven nights. Rooms 103 and 104, eh? Well, okay then. Can I get their cell phone numbers? Uh, you'll find it in the dossier, however, they're not answering. <laughs> Oh, Craig, not paying attention, are you? Have they disappeared before? No, not like this. Have they been romantically involved in the past? As I say, I don't know. I don't believe so. <laughs> Persistent, aren't you? So, well, that's going to be it for the... F Actually, no, let's keep going for a few more minutes. 
Should Cook be involved in this investigation? Well, that's up to you, really. You know the Bureau's policy on backup? I would suggest you use all available resources. I'm very happy that the game includes closed captions like that. You know of anything unusual in Everett? There's nothing that I'm aware of. <laughs> well, you aren't Skinner. What should I do with my current cases? Hand them off to Cook. I know he's busy, but this is priority. Oh. Uh, file an APB on Mulder and Scully, then give your current case files to Cook. A.D. Skinner will join you shortly. All right. Now we're just going to leave with our reply. Uh, we're going into your kitchen, by the way. Uh, just... Okay, there's nothing to do in the kitchen. How unfortunate. Uh, meritorious service award for Armistead Shanks. Uh, how, how do I get out of this room again? <laughs> there we go. So, okay. What's happening? You can't just sit on this. You oh. gotta tell me what's happening. Oh my. <laughs> You're being quite upfront about this. Hmm. Well, he is our friend. May as well. What's up? A couple of agents have disappeared. A pair out of DC, Mulder and Scully. Male and female. They've been gone for three days. D hey! Oh, what is it with people leaving without replying? Okay. Just look at them. <laughs> Just playing with your pen there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, sorry, Mark, but, uh... Shanks wants me to hand my cases off to you. Yeah, I know your swamp didn't work right now, but this is priority. Great. Thanks, golden boy. Oh, that looks like such a big folder as well. Well, such a big collection. Ugh. Well, let's see. Before we file that APB... We are going to go on to the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'll uh, see if I can make sure the volume levels are all as good as they can be. It, it took quite a bit of tweaking to get it so you can just hear the music. Because the game does have music, but it's very, very quiet. See you then, everyone. I hope you enjoy this as much as I remember enjoying it. Bye-bye!